year I preached a sermon about how the Hebrew word for work and worship are the same word. The word is avodah. It means work, worship, or service. And uh, after that last year, we did a series of interviews with people about how their Christian faith affects their work. And we're going to start doing that over the next few weeks again this year. So I've asked Scotty today to come up and uh, come on up, Scotty. And if you want to you can sit over here and take this microphone if you want, and I appreciate you being willing to do this. But, uh, <laughs> so, Scotty, tell us about your work. All right, so what I am is an account manager for a staffing agency, and my job is to connect, actually to build relationships, and to connect people uh, to work opportunities for school districts. The folks that I work with uh, are, are, are teachers, personal care attendants, psychologists, and um, nurses, and we place them inside of, of high need districts because the federal government mandates that those exist, and a lot of times school districts aren't equipped with the resources or know-how to find these people. Yeah, awesome. What a noble thing to do for a living. Um, what kind of issues do you run into oh in your goodness. work? Do we, have all, do we have enough time to talk about all the issues you run into? I'm going to just sum it up with personalities. There are some people that I work with, and there are some people that we place that really don't belong in those roles. But you don't know until it already happens. Mm. You know what I mean? You can, yeah. you, know, you can polygraph people, and they still don't do what they say they're going to do. Right? So uh, you get really awkward phone calls sometimes find out, you know, some superintendent says, hey, like, we have this thing. And you're like, oh my goodness, all right, I'll be right there. You, you know, it, it's, it can be pretty stressful sometimes. So how do you, or rather, how does your Christian faith affect how you deal with these issues and you manage these situations that come up? Well, uh, I really lean on, like, the fruits of the Spirit. Uh, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, thank you, self-control, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Um, I just have to, like, at all times, just try to be really, really calm, you know? And I, I try to be a, a servant leader, right? I try to just love people and just give everyone the benefit of the doubt and, and, and focus on, like, what really matters, right? Like, we need people there to help these children, right? And usually they're the most vulnerable children because they're usually children uh, in, in, in special education, right? Ultra high needs, mobility needs, all, all these things. Um, that you have to have someone there. And so that's my goal at all times, is making sure that even if it's not the person I want there to be the most, there's at least someone there helping them. Okay. How can we pray for you as you minister in your workplace? I just need people to pray for me to make the right connections and to cultivate the right because uh, sometimes you have to be tricky. Sometimes with it, it is tricky. Sometimes you have to you have to be uh, strategic about the relationships you make. Because um, sometimes what what you're doing it, it seems good, but it's not. And, and it's a lot easier sometimes to make the wrong decisions because you've allowed yourself to be um, to be surrounded or to, to be around. So I, I need to be uh, I need to be choosy about those people that I allow into these roles. Okay, I'm going to pray for you, Scotty, right. and then I want to encourage you to pray along with me. And those who are watching online and throughout the week, pray for Scotty as he ministers in his workplace. Ministry is not just something that happens in a building where we have services. It happens every single day, everywhere we go. We're touching people and we're impacting them for Jesus. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for Scotty. Thank you for the way that you've strategically placed him here. Um, Lord, I just know the, just the, the way that he's even gotten into this role is such a, uh, I feel like your hands were involved in supernaturally placing him there. God, I know that each of us are in a place and we're not just there to make money. We're there to build relationships with people and encourage them to move towards you. 
And God, I pray for Scotty that you'll help him to build the right relationships, that you'll help him to be wise, give him the wisdom of Solomon to make good choices, choices that will uh, benefit these, um, these people who are desperately need help, but also help him to be a wise leader and, and recognize who are people he can trust and who are people he needs to move around. I pray that you will just have your hand on him. I pray that in him, people will see the attributes of the spirit, like you said, and that they will become curious about the Jesus that he follows. And I pray all these things like I believe you would. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Scotty. I appreciate you doing that.